So in part one, we use this tool uh, to set up the MX records for our gitsfresh.com domain name. And now that we've waited maybe 24 hours or so, we can actually set up Google Apps for that domain. And that will allow us to have an email address like glenn at gitsfresh.com using Gmail. So that was part one. Uh, to start up part two, it's easy just to search Google for Google Apps. You'll notice there's several different versions, the business, the free, the version for education, all institutions and nonprofits. And this one we're going to use the, the free version of Google Apps. So just click on that, kind of see what Google Apps involves. We're really going to focus on the Gmail part of that in this screencast. And then just hit get started. So we want to uh, enter our domain name. And notice I'm leaving off the www. And then we'll want to create our administrator account, our first account, basically. And enter our contact information. I'm just going to use some uh, demo information here. Here I'm going to enter an email address that's not connected to that domain, just in case I forget my password or something like that. And I'll accept the terms. And create my account. Looks like I need to choose a better password. So once we've done that, we need to verify that we are, in fact, the owner of gitsfresh.com because, uh, because Google does not know that. So I'm just going to close that X there. We, we definitely, um, so we, we registered our domain through GoDaddy, and now we need to kind of show Google that um, that was the case. So I'm going to click verify your domain. That was just under... Uh, on the dashboard under email here we're just going to hit next and then we're going to log in with that account we just set up and I'm going to select my registrar from this list here you know in this example we're using GoDaddy there are a lot of different uh, registrars, and maybe yours is in this list. And if so, you could follow those instructions to sort of verify your domain. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a text record, um, just kind of a little note saying uh, Google's been here on GoDaddy, and that way uh, Google will recognize that we are the owner. So I'm just going to copy this text. Actually, go to GoDaddy.com and I'm going to open this in a new tab, a new window. Sign in with my GoDaddy account. Uh, click on Domains and go to Domain Management. There's there are a number of ways to get here, but uh, that's usually a good one. Then I'm going to select my domain from a list, and we should see a screen that looks like this. Uh, from here, just scroll down to where you see DNS Manager, and under that you should see a, a link to launch the DNS Manager. And this is basically the switchboard for your domain, kind of uh, telling, telling uh, I guess, the website, the email, uh, anywhere, or anything somebody wants to access related to your domain, where to go. So. The text record is uh, down here, right below the MX records. That's what we set yesterday, or the uh, in part one. 
basically saying that all mail should go to Google servers. And here you can see how the website is also going to a Google server because we're using a Google site. So I'm just going to hit quick add. And under host, I'm going to replace the at symbol. And under the text value, uh, paste in that code. Leave that at one hour is fine, and then just hit save zone file. Okay. Then we'll go back to Google Apps on this screen and hit verify. If all goes well. We just verified to Google that we own the domain. I'm going to click back to the dashboard one more time. You notice it says here you still need to verify ownership. I think it, it actually knows that it just uh, is a little behind. So click on dashboard and okay, it looks like it's working. So um, why don't I go to the inbox and try to send an email from this new account. Uh, I might switch to the new look. This is available. All right, so here we are. I'm going to compose a new message to myself. Just to see if it uh, comes through. Can't send mail yet. We might need to wait just a little while. Let's uh, pause it and come back to this in a second. So I just waited there for about half an hour with no luck. But then I um, ended up going to, let me just show where I'm at here. So. Uh, we weren't able to send the email there. It was giving us this error message about uh, you can't send an email yet. So I went back to Google Apps. Uh, one easy way to get there is clicking on this gear and clicking manage this domain. Uh, you may have it open in another tab as well. But then on uh, the setup tab up here, uh, it gives you sort of this wizard for, for setting up your Google Apps. And I just click through this, um, kind of selected no for most options or, or skip this for now. And after doing that, that uh, allowed me to send an email. So um, that appears to be the next step. So just go there, um, click next, kind of go through this. If you want to add other email addresses, maybe sales at GHFresh or info, you could do that. Um, let's try that just for, just for kicks. We can add up to 10 um, users. We can create email aliases. So maybe um, you know, your full name might be an alias or a misspelling of your name. Okay, let's just create some users here. Okay, they just show us how to do it. It's actually uh, done in this tab. So this is more of just a help, I see. So let's just click through this later. Um, set up your apps. Yep, that's fine. I'll use Gmail is what I'm really uh, interested in. Docs and Calendar are also good. We did set up a Google site, but it wasn't through Google Apps. So we're just going to leave that blank or unchecked. Um, I guess I hit Next here. Had checked access Gmail in the web browser. Um, or maybe you want to use it on your computer. Use an Outlook or uh, Thunderbird Mail. If you want to write your mail through Google servers, that makes sense. Okay, so it's going to go through and uh, going to give you the steps on how to set up, you know, Thunderbird on your own computer to check your email. So you don't have to log in uh, on the web or any of those email clients that you checked. It tells you how to use Google Calendar a little bit. It's a pretty nice uh, help wizard there. You know, whether you want to use it on your mobile phone, I'm just going to skip that. Unchecked all those. Uh, and check these. 
once you get to the end, yeah, I'm just clicking do this later, or skip. Um, actually, you should be now, you should now be up and running. So, um, going back to our inbox, we'll see that we can now uh, compose and send messages and also receive them. I'll just uh, send a quick one here. From another computer. And hopefully that should arrive in here. There it is. So uh, we just sent an email to this new address. And in part three, we will look at setting up email forwarding so you don't have to um, log in and check this email on the web. You can uh, you can check your normal email and all emails sent to this plan at gsfresh.com email address will get to your, your normal address. That's part two.